Welcome everyone. Blue Gnome Mining here. Hope everyone is having a great day. Today we're going to set up to mine flux. And that is a coin here that everybody is talking about here lately. You go to uh, runonflux.io and it talks about it here and tells you all the different coins you get because it has parallel mining to it which if you scroll down through here you'll see all the different coins if I scroll down to the bottom part way here and oops I gotta go a little farther and it shows here like Flux KDA, Flux ETH, BSC, Soul and there's more coming yes right here it shows even uh, more assets Flux Tron and more to come so what we're going to do First thing you got to do is you got to download Zelcor, which is your wallet. If you click on download Zelcor, up in the upper right hand corner, it'll take you over to Zelcor here. And you click on the try it now, which I already have. I've already got this downloaded. You click on Windows if you're running Windows, Mac, or Linux if you have a Linux machine. Or you can actually run it on your phones, which is over here. And I actually have it, and it is here. And once you download it, install it, you'll come up to this. You have to log in, you, making a username and password. Uh, so I'll let you guys go ahead and do that. And I'm going to log into mine. And as soon as this logs in, and I'm on privacy mode, so you can't see anything here. Um, so if that looks a little different than yours, that's the reason why. Um, but you'll have to click on the portfolio on this side and come over and here's your flux it'll show flux bitcoin ethereum if you want to add any more assets you can go down here to manage assets you can add assets and if flux is not in there you can in the very beginning you can type in l uh, flux here hit enter and it will bring all your flux ones here and you'll notice just plain flux is missing because I've already got it on my account. It shows all the parallel assets. And we're going to close that. And we're going to click on flux right here. And this shows the current price and you can see how it's taking off. So what we'll need in here is we'll need your wallet address. So you come down here to receive. And this is your wallet address. If you click on it, it'll save it to your uh, clipboard. And that's all we need to do for in here. So I'll minimize this. And you can see I run a mixed rig of some AMDs and some NVIDIAs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Hive OS up here. Click on it. We're going to click on our farm. We're going to click on Wallet. Okay, and then we're going to go over to the right and click on Add Wallet. And we're going to add a new wallet. <clears throat> so what you do is you go in here, you type in Flux, you click on it. And this, you right click and cop, or paste your wallet address that you just copied from your wallet before. This is your address. You can name your wallet, which I'm going to name Flux. Uh, yeah, I'll just name it that way. And you really don't, I don't think you need to name this or it's source. Unless you really want to change your source or wallet type here. And I'm going to hit create. And then what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do that again. Because I'm going to have um, the AMD is going to one wallet. And the NVIDIA is going to another for a test that I'm doing. So I have another wallet address that was actually sent to me. And I'm going to paste in here. 
This is a separate wallet address. Whoops. A. I'll name that one Flux A. The other one is just plain Flux. And I'll create that wallet. So here's the two I just created. So next I'll go to Flight Sheet. And in here I'll type in Flux, which is here. This one is going to be just the Flux wallet, which is going to be my AMDs. And I'm going to go to Miner Pool. That's the pool I'm going to use. And we want the low diff and the var diff of US. And hit apply. And the miner I'm going to use, being these are AMDs, I'm going to use LOL miner, double checking everything. Now I have to create, uh, I have to add another miner. And this one will be also flux. And this one's going to be to this wallet, flux A. Also using miner pool. So I'm going to choose the same two all over again. US low diff and var diff. Now this one I'm going to use Mini Z because I was told with the NVIDIA's Mini Z gives you a little bit better stability. And then I can create the flight sheet. And here it is. Down here it's a flight sheet I just created. So now I'm going to go over to my worker that I want this on which is this one here. And then I can go into flight sheet here. I can scroll down to this flight sheet that I just created. And I might want to edit this a minute. Just to double check I didn't mess one thing up in here. Being that one can do both. NVIDIA and AMD. I want to change this for that. So it's only doing my AMD cards. And apply the changes. Because that one's doing the AMD. This one's doing the NVIDIA. Update that one. And apply it. And then I'm going to go back up here and hit overview and once it reboots back up we will see how things are working yeah okay uh, we are back that I am over actually on minor pool and this shows what the cards have been doing uh, they kind of slowed down here near the end I was tweaking on them a little bit I'm gonna tweak some more and get them up higher but to find this information, all you do is you go over here to flux.minerpool.org, back over to the pool. You put your wallet address in here in the box. And it'll show all your wallet, inf all your information, what you've been earning, and stuff like that. You can change your payout right now. Mine's set at 50. A lot of guys bump them up to 100. Um it's all your personal preference whatever you want to change that to um but yeah it has shows all the different information your parallel estimated parallel assets your estimated rewards rewards based on latest payments are all in here of course i haven't done doing it long enough to get payments yet but that's where it's just starting if you like this video uh, please click the subscribe and the little bell beside it to get notified when i post more and if you could uh, give me a thumbs up on the way out. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, and thank you.